The WHO estimates something in the order of a billion people around the world don't have access to readily available clean drinking water. The human cost of that in lives is just extraordinary. The estimates are that about four to 5,000 children a day die in India alone drinking contaminated water. And the only question is getting something to the people who need it. The way we do things is, is by building large treatment plants and chlorination and infrastructure and all that is hugely costly. We can make it at a low enough cost. Our solution is to develop a filter which, on its own, with no external power, someone could take some water, as long as it's pretty clean looking, they'll be able to run it through our filter and drink it, and they'll be safe. We wanted to get a product into the market quickly to demonstrate the efficacy and the simplicity and the usefulness, the utility of the product. And so the simplest way to do that is putting it in a very small package, a water bottle, very simple to use in situations where you're camping or, and this happens alarmingly frequently in the US that there are oil water alerts. So there's a need in the third world and there's a need in the developed world. How it works is by a simple straining mechanism. If the bacteria accumulate on the surface, it slows down till it stops. It's a membrane that is small enough to catch all those bacteria, but still allows satisfactory flow. And that membrane is the revolutionary development. There's been a lot of work over a long period of time on the fibers that you can get by electrospinning. And so it's not a new technology, but in recent times, there's been a lot of focus on improving the process, controlling the process, and producing fabrics or non-woven materials Electrospinning involves pulling a fiber out from a very fine nozzle and you create a very fine fiber. And if you just lay that down under a microscope, it would look like a bowl of spaghetti. It's a lot of fibers, nanofibers, and they lay on top of each other as an entanglement. They look very messy, very disorganized, but what they create is blockage for the bacteria. Compared to more standard membrane, we have an advantage because of that extra openness, and that's why our membrane can flow so easily. And on top of that, we have a carbon block that improves the taste of the water. Cholera, typhoid, botulism, salmonella, all of these are bacterial infections, and our membrane will catch all of those. The Naked Filter is just a first product for us. Our future really lies in developing whole-of-house systems for the developing world.